Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into another video. Today, a product that we're going to be opening that I am extremely excited about. Now, this is a gift that was bought to me by my wife, um, a Sage coffee machine. Um, very excited to unbox it. We're going to uh, just op open it up, have a look at the actual device itself, see what it's all about. Um, but just to talk through it quickly, this is a bean to cup machine. Um, it's by a company called Sage, and I think in America it's uh, or if it's the same brand or not. I think it is. It's, it's actually called the it's a Breville machine. Um, so it's probably manufactured by Breville. Um, so in America you might see this, this is as a Breville Barista Touch, um, but in the UK here they're under the Sage branding. So this is the Sage Barista Touch. Um, it's not the top of the line machine, but it is extremely, extremely way, way, way high up there in the list of. Uh, the sort of uh, the the high range high end coffee machine bean to cup coffee machines you can buy um, in the market today. Um, the one above this one is a Sage Oracle Touch, and that one comes in at nearly double the price of this one. Extremely expensive. You're getting a few extra benefits out of it, such as um, this one has a manual tamper, so it will grind the beans for you, and you're going to take your co coffee out, and you're going to tamper it yourself, um, and then you're going to lock it in to actually press through. Um, but the um, Oracle Touch is one that has all the automated features where it will grind, polish and tamp your coffee for you. Um, and then you will just be putting it in to press the coffee. So a um, few benefits of that one. It's got a bit of a large bean uh, tank. It's got a larger water tank. Um, this one has a single boiler. So single boiler meaning it's either going to press the coffee for you or steam the milk one at a time. You can't do both at the same time. Uh, the ben another benefit of the Oracle uh, Touch is that it has a double boiler, meaning that you can actually steam the milk and press the coffee at exactly the same time, which is brilliant. Um, other than that, from a feature-wise perspective, uh, I could be wrong. I could be missing a few other features, um, but I think there's not too much more in it. Is it really worth double the price point? Mm. Hard to say, really, uh, depending on what you're after. I think with this one, you're getting a little bit more of the barista vibe and barista feel because uh, you're being going to be doing the tampering yourself. So uh, probably hence the name, Sage Barista. So let's just go ahead and open this up now. It's a large box to open up. So I'll try my best to show you the contents. So what you've got here is you've got the actual bit that the coffee is going to go into here. Um, so I'll just hold that up for you. you can see close there as you can see the actual very ultra fine mesh in there that the water is going to be pressing through and keeping the coffee in place nice and heavy it's very very solid it's got a nice uh, nice handle with a firm grip and a little rubber uh, ring around it there this will be locking in once it's been filled with ground coffee um, now this specifically here is the actual double espresso spout there so you can see so it'd be interesting to see if there's a single espresso spout in there as well um, because you might not always want a double espresso so that's the double um, let's just put that on the side there and see what else is in the box um, I'm not sure what these are yet to be honest um, so we'll find out it's a filter, water filter installation. So nice to see they've actually got a water filter in this one. So the Nespresso machines, also by the Sage brand that I have, then there is this the Creatista. I think I've said that correctly. Um, or the all the Nespresso machines, to be honest, they don't have water filters in them. So um, it's nice to see that a machine like this does actually have a water filter in there. It probably helps to build uh, stop scale build up and etc. In the actual appliance itself. Maybe prolong the life of the kit a little bit. Um, cleaning kit. So there's a cleaning kit. Uh, let's see what that comprises of quickly. So a brush. Um, looks like we've got a this this little thing here. Uh, you may not be able to see it. We've got a tiny pin on there. And that's actually to clean the actual milk frothing wand or the end of the milk frothing wand. Um, a rubber grommet there, which I'm not sure what's for yet, but there we go, cleaning kit. Right, let's have a look at what else we've got then. Um, so the tamper. So I don't know if this they provide a manual tamper. This might be actually um, the one that goes into the machine because on the picture, you can see there is actually a tamper that's connected in here. So I don't know if this is an additional tamper or or, or not. It would be nice if it is actually because then you can start getting all barista like. Um, what else have we got here? We've got something that says the razor. 
I'm not sure what that is. This is probably to actually polish off the coffee once it's been ground. Um, and yes, I think that's exactly what it is. So as you can see, once your coffee has been ground, and you're going to have a sort of a little mountain of coffee on the top. And what you do with this effectively is polish the top off. Now this is this is a really, really nicely finished bit of kit. Um, it's in a nice presentation box. It's a nice soft velvety box there. Um, and I'll try and hold it there and it might focus in there. And it's saying precision machine for 54 millimeter diameter filter basket. So um, I don't know if I can even get that out. Not very easily anyway, but I'll get that out later on. But it, ultimately, as you can see in the picture there, it's to polish off the top of your coffee um, before you actually tamper it. So let's put that aside. Now. Right, and... There are some filters in here as well. So it's come with a pack of filters. Let's open that. Let's see what's that all about. So I'll have to get these out by opening these here, hopefully without dropping them. And you can see that they're the filter basket. So you've got a single wall filter um, for use with fresh gown coffee. Uh, dual wall filters for use with um, pre-ground coffee. So nice to see. You can also drop pre-ground coffee in there. Obviously, if you've got ground coffee already, you don't need to actually pass it through the grinder. You can just drop the coffee straight into these uh, filter baskets and uh, push it straight through to get pressed out. So there you go there, dual wall. Um, and then also another dual wall one there. Right, so nice to see some extra filter baskets there. Um, and this one here, it says, I'm not missing, look for me in the portal filter. So we've already seen the portal filter. There's the portal filter. It's come fitted with one of the baskets in there already. Cool. So let's see if we can get this thing out. It's going to be quite difficult to get out, uh, I suppose. I don't know how easy it's going to be. I think I'm going to have to slide it out once it's laying on its side. So I'm going to try and lay it on its side. Um, Hopefully I'll get it the right way up. And I'm going to try and slide this out now. Well, it's a heavy old machine. So there it is. They're about to get it out. Let's just move the box out of the way. Um, I've got the little knock box that you can see on the side there, but probably not very exciting to open up and look at. Um, So let's just get all the packaging out of the way as quickly as we can because it's all it's going to make a mess. And there you have it. There is the machine. It's coming out now. Um, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to tip this to its... Oh, I'm going to get all the loose bits out first so they don't drop. The actual um, coffee beans uh, container that's going to go at the top. So let's put that aside as well. Let's get this out. Let's get this out. So... I'm going to put it like that. I'm going to get it out. Right, and there you have it. Even though it's in plastic, there you have it. It is out. That is a nice sized bean to cup coffee machine. Um, I'm very excited to get this on the counter next to my Nespresso, Sage Nespresso Creatista because they literally look like they belong together on the same count counter. Um, they're effectively design wise, they look the same. They're definitely are going to be a matching pair um, and I will be keeping an espresso machine sometimes you don't have time to um, spend on, on on knocking out a coffee with one of these machines where you've got to tidy up a little bit after as well sometimes an espresso is very convenient to just have a quick coffee in the morning um, you're not getting the best coffee but satisfying nonetheless so there it is there is the machine how gorgeous is that the touch screen so it's called the barista touch it's got a touch screen that you can swipe to select your drinks menus this uh, this smaller machine allows you to store six custom drink settings you got milk frothing one there again same exactly the same one to be honest as as on the um Nespresso Creatista. Um, I'm sure it's going to produce 
the same if not better quality microphone with the milk and um, very important and then obviously um, allows you to do some nice uh, latte art as well so a lot of plastic here to get off from this machine this is the bottom drip tray uh, again as i'm unpacking this i just keep keep on going back to the nespresso machine because everything kind of looks and feels the same um, but obviously completely different beast in the actual coffee game this one completely different beast you've got the temperature sensor there right there for the actual um, milk jug so it will detect when the milk will reach your desired temperature and it will uh, stop the milk from frothing or heating up i can go ahead and peel this off we won't be able to see much other than the actual touch screen but there's the touch screen um that's it what else is there to show you actually let's have a look uh, what we've got here, so I'm taking all the bits of tape off. Um, neatly on the back, you can see the water tank is there. So there is the water tank. Um, again, the Oracle Touch has got a slightly larger water tank, but not to not to worry because this is not a small tank by any means. Um, and how it comes off, I'm not 100% sure yet, but looks like there are some buttons to press here that might. And I take, I don't want to force it off. Um, I'm guessing the water filter has got to fit in there somewhere as well, but that is the water tank. You got the power cable at the bottom, generously sized power cable. It's a nice and thick cable as well, actually. Um, so that's there. Um, let's see if we can get the actual container on for the actual beans. And maybe at some point uh, in the future, I'll do another video of me actually making a coffee on this. So I'll just unpack that there. This is the actual canister where all the beans are going to go. Got a rubber lid on the top. So um, it's just sticking into place through friction. It's not falling off, as you can see. And it's uh, probably going to, it's, air it's airtight because it's rubber. So it's going to keep the beans nice and fresh in there as well. And as you can see on there, some instruction there, turn to lock. So. I suppose this will fit on here um, as such on top of the grinder um, and you'll be turning it to lock it in place like that so that's it that's locked in place now and this will fit on top there you go that's pretty much ready to plug in I suppose um, as for the tamper this definitely is the tamper that goes uh, in here somewhere so I'm guessing it's going to push into there on the side it's interesting that it's so okay so there's a magnet inside so that's sticking in with a magnet now i suppose maybe they've done this because if you want to remove it and do a bit of tampering you've got the porta filter maybe you want to do a bit of tampering by hand right maybe that's why they've done it so you can do that you can remove it and it sticks in quite firmly and it stays in place with the magnet so if you're if you're using it in place there you're doing a bit of that so you've got your coffee that's going to be ground through there so as you can see it's push activated and I believe if you do a single push, it will grind one lot. If you want to control the amount you're grinding, you can just push and hold and it'll keep grinding until you release the porta filter there. If that gets held firmly in place, coffee is going to come into your porta filter there. You're going to obviously get the razor. You're going to wipe it off. You're going to polish off so it's flat. You're going to tamp it and then you're going to bring it into this side here. And if podium not, you're going to lock it in into place here uh, all the way. I won't force it yet, but all the way in, and then um, you're going to press the button, and it's going to, well, you're going to select what you want to do on the touch screen, I suppose, and it's going to knock out your coffee. What I haven't seen in here is I haven't seen a single espresso uh, spout, so maybe that's something I'll have to look at buying separately. Uh, these do screw off, so you can switch between the two. I was under the impression that there would be a single espresso one in the box, but there isn't. Um, not a problem because I generally have doubles anyway. Um, that's a very nice, nice porta filter. That is um, again a very heavy bit of kit there. And I'm just going to double check the box once more to make sure that oh, I've just dropped all of the actual uh, filters to see if there is any single filter in there. I don't think there is. So, oh well, no, no biggie. We can buy one of those. Um, here, the jug, the milk frothing jug, this is exactly the same as the one that came with the Nespresso Creatista. Again, I don't think there's any difference between this one and the one I got with my Nespresso machine. 
Um, let's just have a quick look at it anyway. But given that I've already got one jug and I'm using that one, I probably will just keep this one stowed away in the box as a spare. It's got a minimum maximum mark on it to tell you how much you should fill it at a maximum so that if you're, I guess, running the machine on the maximum froth setting, that it doesn't froth out of the jug because that will make a hell of a mess. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. I am going to fire this machine up, but not at the moment. I need to just get it set up on the counter um, and get some beans loaded in there and uh, then, I guess, start playing around with it. So if you want to see a video of me actually trying to make a coffee in this thing um, and how it all works once it's all powered on, leave a, leave a comment in the section below. Just let me know what you want to see what you want me to try. There are different grind settings that you can adjust on here somewhere as well. I need to find. Um, let me know what you want to see. Let me, let me know if you want to see me making some espressos or nice uh, lattes or flat whites or whatever, what have you, Americanos um, in this machine. And I'll be more than happy to do so, um, share the experience with you uh, and answer any questions that you may have. So on that note, I'd like you to thank you very much for watching. Um, and take care and all the best.